I make most of my games with C++, but I think it's time we up the stakes. C++ is more difficult than something like Python or Java, but we can go deeper. Scratch. I don't really know how to use Scratch. Last time I used it was like back in middle school, but I don't care. So I decided to challenge my friend Doorbell, the Scratch expert, to a one versus one Scratch competition. We'll each have an hour to make a Scratch game. Let's get started. Let me uh, call him. Do you think you could beat me in yeah. Scratch? Um, possibly. I've been using Scratch since I was seven years old. Yeah, I, I use Scratch all the time. Anyway, I have to make a Scratch account, I think. I'm thinking what we do is we pick a theme and then we both mute for like an hour and then we come back and yeah. show each other's games. If you win, you tweet anything on my Twitter account. And if I win, I tweet anything on your Twitter account. Deal. All right, I'm gonna click generate and the next theme that comes up will be our theme for our one hour scratch competition. The theme is contamination. Okay guys, I have never used Scratch before, so this will be interesting. Contamination, I'm just gonna call it contamination. So the theme is contamination. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, no idea. That's kind of a stupid theme. What if we make an infinite runner game where you dodge harmful bacteria and collect essential bacteria? I think that sounds like a good enough idea for an hour, so let's do this. Here's my idea. Basically, imagine there's like falling food from the sky and you have a pot. You have to catch the good food and avoid the contaminated food so that you can give the best food to your customers. Okay, so what we gotta do is set the X position to mouse X. And you wanna put that in this wow loop thing probably. Let's see if that works. Okay, cool. He follows your mouse. That's actually easy. Uh, let's switch between three positions. I'm gonna make a, a, a procedure which just simply updates the Y. Uh, when I receive new message, this is gonna be update Y. We're gonna set the Y to that. And this should be good to go, I think. There we go. It's working. I'm gonna call this player or Actually, I'm gonna make him more interesting. Unfortunate cat, because he's uh, very prone to disease. Oh, I think we need a sprite. Let's make a bowl. I feel like my game might be worse than his because I'm making probably the simplest game possible. So what I really have to do is win on the polish side of things. Look at that beautiful bowl. Maybe we make it a pan. I don't know, it's, it's too late, it's too late. We don't have time. Now we can do the bacteria. I don't feel like drawing, like actually using my drawing tablet. So I'm going to just simply make some vector art in the Scratch built-in editor. <laughs> Looks more like steak or bacon than bacteria. Let's let's make it bad. Let's fill it with red. There we go. And this should be working. Yeah, see, it's underneath. I didn't know it was this good at scratch coding. Maybe I am the next grip patch. Oh, I know. All right, I have the perfect game idea. It's like the exact same thing. How about instead of collecting food in a bowl, you are stacking a burger. So I'll make the bottom and the top of the burger. This might be a bit ambitious now because I feel like there's a bit more we'll have to do. Oh God. <laughs> oh, what is this? Delete this clone? I think that should work. Like, I'm not sure. Yeah, definitely works. Look at that. I think I'm a pro. Look at that. We have a functioning game. That is insane. All right, screw this hamburger game. I just think there's no way we finish in 40 minutes. I have a, I have a new idea. I want to make kind of like a game where you have to bounce a ball and like more balls come in. You have to like bounce them. Kind of like uh this game, Puffle Paddle. Let's take this. Let's make this a paddle, okay? And then let's make this a ball. I want to experiment with creating like proper like physics in Scratch. It falls with pretty realistic physics, I think. Now, all we need is a score, a background of some sort, sort of difficulty curve, and a proper, like, sort of boost bacterium. Let's do the score so we have a base game. There we go. You see that? We have almost half an hour left. I wonder if my dad knows what I'm doing here. It's so goofy. Can you check collisions in Scratch? Is that like a thing you can just do? I think this is how you do it. If touching paddle, then set Y velocity to positive 20. All right, let's see. Hey, it works, it bounces. Look, it bounces on the paddle. So we have a functioning game, which is perfect. All we need is to add a positive kind of bacterium thing that you should collect, which will make it even more chaotic, I hope. And let's color this green. Let's do dark green so that it's easier on the eyes. And yeah, okay. Oh no, let's do like mid and based. <laughs> God, I hate myself. Yeah, there we go. There we go. See that? Honestly, not bad. Now, what I want to do is every time it hits the paddle, I want to add a random sort of offshoot 
to the X velocity. This is actually pretty intense. We have like 30 minutes left. We got this though. All right, cool. Now it follows your mouse cursor and it should like sort of hover. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. I like this a lot more. And then what I'll do is, I think there's a way to set the rotation of a sprite. Scratch, set rotation to specific degrees. Set rotation to degrees. This is like, what is this even talking about? What does the Raspberry Pi have to do with this? Oh, point in direction. There we go, point in direction. So I wanna do point in direction of paddle X velocity. I think that would look cool. There we go. Now it points in the direction of your mouse. Clean, I like that a lot, okay. So then what you can do is with the ball, the ball needs to have a bit of an X velocity as well. So I'm gonna make a new variable, X velocity. We have 20 minutes left, we got this. All right, let's check it out. Okay, cool. Yeah, it goes in the direction of your X velocity. Let's make lives. Let's make lives, because like, um, it would be cool to have like different stages. Let's make him have like two lives. He's normal here, he's infected here, and he's dead later. <laughs> this is so sad. Okay, 26 minutes. We're getting a bit slow here. Kind of going insane right now. I think this is it. All right, now let's get infected. Oh, okay, it sort of works. <laughs> We have 18 minutes. That should be more than enough. Oh, wait. Did it work? Hey, yo. We did it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to lower how much it bounces up by. If it goes off the screen, then it's too easy. This is like perfect. Wow. Okay. We have a bouncy ball. Sick. Sick. With 15 minutes left. So I think we make a score and like a reset function and all that. But then I want to make a variable called score and score will be public. This is, this is actually really easy. You just do change score by one. All right. Let's try it out. Oh, right, yeah. Now when you hit the ball, your score increases. Let's Let's go. We have 10 minutes left. Should we work on the gameplay or should we add music? I mean, I want to add a backdrop real quick. Let's find a scary one online. Let's make him say something. There you go. <laughs> you know what? Let's make a track. We have three minutes left. Let's do it. Wait, there's a theme. I forgot about the theme. Oh my God. Okay, that's actually bad. I, li I just, I literally just remembered that the game's supposed to be themed around contamination. All right. Really quick, if the ball falls off, it should restart. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we, we still gotta add the theme. Oh, uh, bro, we have eight minutes left. Contamination, contamination, contamination. All right, good enough. Uh, oh, shoot, one minute, 41 seconds. Play sound and wait, I think. Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay. That's a cool soundtrack for a game about dying. We did it. We did it with 30 seconds to spare. Let's go. Wait, where'd the ball go? Oh, I deleted the ball. How, how do I get it back? Scratch, recover, deleted sprite. Oh my gosh, please, please, please. Edit on the toolbar and click restore sprite. Where is that? Where is the... Wait, how, how do you restore a sprite? Restore sprite. Oh my god. Okay, that was terrifying. Here, let me make a sound now. Oof. I, I had to make an oof sound in memory of Roblox. When you hit the paddle, you want there to be a sound as well. Perfect. <laughs> I have to add the theme. Guys, we have five minutes to incorporate the theme of contamination. Oh, I have, I have it, I have it. I have the perfect idea, I have the perfect idea. We have four minutes left. You have to keep the ball in the air to keep it from the contaminated water. Watch this, watch this. Let's make some contaminated water. It's like toxic gas, and if the ball falls in the toxic gas, you die, dude. Will I finish? Will I finish? Please, now's not the time to spend an hour drawing water. Wait, what's the clock? What's on the clock? Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. We got this, guys. We got this, we got this, we got this water. It's contaminated water. Uh, we have 29 seconds. We got this. Okay, just stay calm. Choose a spray, water. Just move the water down here. All right, literally just in time. We finished the game literally in the very last second. Let's go. Yo, I literally finished right before the timer went off. I had a minute to spare. All right, yeah, I guess we can show each other. Right our this is Contamination by Doorbell. Yo, it has music. It goes hard. All right, it's like, <laughs> it's like a classic you can, endless You can order. collect the green ones. Oh, smart. 300 is in the books, dude. Oh god, I have one oh. life left. Please, please. We are so close. We're so close. We're actually so close. Yes, we did it. 300. Let's no, go. I like it. Pretty good interpretation of the theme. Let's watch Doorbell's playthrough oh, of Poison Paddle. This is Poison Paddle by Bali Mars. Keep the ball out of the toxic waste with your paddle. All right, let's go. Hey, yo. This is clean. Oh, yo, yo. Dude, oh, no. Ah. What was that? That was like 38. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to favorite that. Nice. Oh, I got the doorbell favorite. Let's go. Robot? I think you won. Not gonna oh. lie. I, guess, I guess we'll see. We need to get a judge. Hello. Hello. I got my closet right now. I don't have much time. Are you Are you okay, Nathan? Yeah, yeah. Just, just make it quick. Just make it quick. I'm going to send you two Scratch games. Oh, wait. I'm playing one of them on my phone. I'm playing Poison Puddle. What the hell is going on? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. What is going on, bro? It was an 
nice talking to you, uh, blue folder. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's gonna cut it. I think he might be, like, kidnapped or something. What we should do is we should make a poll and just vote un unbiasedly, okay? Just let the people decide. This poll will literally determine who the best Scratch developer of all time is. Let's see what Indeed. happens. So far, we have 50-50. 67-33. <gasps> back, hey back, hey 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 back to 50-50. Back to 50-50. 60-40. 67-33. Okay, okay. It's you by a long shot. So there's still like a third of the time left. You never know. Three. Oh no. Will there be a last minute switch up? Two. One. Oh, you won. The people have spoken. The unbiased chatters have spoken, Doorbell. Poison Paddle is just objectively the better game. Also, thanks, chat, yeah. for uh, taking my bribe. I'll just drop your PayPals. I'll make sure to give you Wait, all what? the uh, 50... What? Uh, nothing. Anyway, uh, I guess, yeah, I'll, I'll have to tell you what to tweet now. Oh, shoot, yeah. This is the best tweet in the world. I will read out what you have to tweet. I'm sorry in advance. Jokes aside, I honestly don't get why people do text-based coding. <laughs> Visual coding is way easier to use. Scratch is free and has the same features as major game engines, I think. I'm sorry, Dorville. I'm gonna get ratioed hard. <laughs> people, people are not gonna get the joke. I love it. I am so sorry, Dorville. Good contest. I approve.